And then have them go right through their shirt and make sure that they zero out. In the working world, you'll get coolant and stuff in there mm -hmm. and they won't be zeroed. So you wanna make sure that they're good and clean. So this is a typical edge finder. It's got three eighths diameter shank. Okay. And then you notice how this little guy kind of moves around okay. as far as spring. This little guy is exactly 200 thousandths of an inch. Okay. And I would trust that this is 200 thousandths better than I would trust the dial uh, mm -hmm. calipers. Dial calipers are about as accurate as about one to two thousandths. Mm -hmm. um, I know this has been precisionally ground. So with that being said, what we're gonna do, we're just gonna stick a part in here. And we're gonna come over here to the vise. So now that we got this good and square, what we're gonna do here. Uh, after you built the product, if you stuck it in an airplane, would you get on it? And they all kind of look at me like, what? I said, do you feel the quality that you put into the product and what you made, and you stuck it in an airplane and went 40,000 feet at 500 mile an hour, would you still get on it? And I'm gonna be honest, I don't have many kids say they get on the airplane. So I always tell them, think about what you're doing and build the quality into the product. Because I said, you're not the one gonna take this home. Somebody else is going to take this home. So. Cleaned all of this off, so now we want to make sure that there's nothing in the vice jaws. So we want to keep everything nice and clean. Like our parallels. And basically all this is is a set of parallels. I'm gonna stick this guy in there. And then what we're going to do, we're going to seat this part in the vise. And what I mean by seating it, and hopefully it's seat, I'm going to gently tap on the part and tighten the vise at the same time. You notice I'm not beating it like it owes me money. Now I'm going to check my parallels. I want you guys to take your fingers. Now, I mean, I don't want you to push on them, but you just take your finger and you notice that these don't move. That's telling me that this part is square inside and level. So now, now we are level to the spindle of our machine. And we now know that this vise is square. So whenever I make a cut across here, it's going to be parallel on, on both sides. That's why we did that. Um, and like I said, this is to let you know that your part is good and square. We will take our indicator out, put it back in gear, call it. But I will say if you were looking for more precise work, mm -hmm. the call is going to run much truer than the drill chuck. But I would have just as much faith by sticking this in that drill chuck and not worrying about it. Because you're going to be working off of this. You're not going to be working off of the concentricity of Mm -hmm. okay. So I'm just gonna look to find a. So we're gonna come in here, set that up, line the key, stick my edge finder in here, and I like to have about half of it at least sticking out. Just gives me a little length. I'm gonna tighten this up. Good and clean. So, I'm gonna just draw their parts. 
not only for safety reasons, but if you leave a 5,000th burr on this, your whole locations are gonna be 5,000th off. And I know kids like to rush, and if you rush it, this plate has to mount up to another plate and somebody did theirs correct and you have yours off by 5,000th, these whole locations are not gonna match. So it goes back to that cleanliness and make sure you take care of your parts. So we're gonna come in here. I'm just gonna get it closed. I'm gonna touch off of this corner. I'm gonna put this guy up. I want you guys to stand back for a second because there'll probably be some oil coming out of this. The seal is actually broke. We're gonna turn this on. Rule of thumb, it's gonna take a little bit. We want to run this to optimize its efficiency with this. It's not a cutting tool. We want to run this at about a thousand RPM. Um, can you run it slower? Yes. Like with the doors open on that CNC machine, it only runs 750 RPM. So if you have to use an edge finder to do the same thing we're doing over there, the max RPM. The max RPM is 10,000 for that particular particular piece of equipment but with the doors open it's only going to run 750 so looking at this this is actually running true you notice this guy's running off and basically what we want it to do we want it to start to run true like that and then we want it to move itself off so basically what we're going to do we're going to come in here we're going to Come in here, and you notice how it's starting to run true. I'm just gonna move this ever so slightly. If you look up there on that screen, you can see that I'm just barely moving this. I'm waiting for it to knock itself off. See how it knocked itself off? You see how that, so now I'm gonna set my x-axis to zero. Now remember, this thing's going to NASA. So we wanna make sure that it's right. We're gonna come in here. I wanna make sure I get the same number. Zero, zero. I'm gonna pick this spindle up. Half of that is 100. I'm gonna move 100,000. And I'm gonna be real honest with you, this still is a manual machine. Nice to have digital readout. I'm gonna tell you a very number, number one important thing. If you go past it, don't just try to come back up to it. I want you to go. Like, go past it and then drive. Keep everything going the same direction. Because if you, they do have swap in them. See how I'm moving this and that ain't moving? So. my spindle is exactly on that edge. Now you notice that we're set below. Well, it doesn't make any difference. What we're going to do is we're just going to come in and touch off of this jaw. But I can't go down too far because we got the parallel. And now we're just going to come in here and make sure it's knocked off. We're going to set our y-axis. I always do it twice just to be on the safe side. Zero. So now, 
what we can do, just so that you can really see this. Zero, zero should absolutely be I know none of us are gonna see a half thousandth of an inch. <laughs> so now you have perfectly picked up that edge. So now that you have your your part in front of you, or your drawing in front of you, mm -hmm. everything has to come off of a home position. Right, which is that home position. This, this would just be the home.